the number 333. Seeing a blue jay every day. Oh, there's a purple octopus. How valid are signs and synchronicities and should you believe in them? If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I created this channel to help you build a more beautiful and loving and fulfilling lifestyle through self-mastery and spirituality. And today we're going to talk about signs, synchronicities, what they mean, and if they are something that you should be paying attention to or not. Do I believe in signs and synchronicities? Yes and no. If we back up to the basics of law of assumption, whatever you believe to be true is. If you believe some type of synchronicity, like seeing a repeating number or a certain bird or whatever means something, it does. If you don't believe it means something, it doesn't. So in my experience, I believe signs can be helpful, but I also believe they're a little bit of a, a crutch. So what do I mean by that? If we're trying to manifest something in our lives or create a new belief system, sometimes what we'll do or what I have done is look for these synchronistic signs. And that tells me that, hey, this is actually happening. I'm on the right track. And the reason that it helps me is because I don't truly believe in my ability to bring in that manifestation. So I, I look at signs as a little bit of a crutch or like training wheels to help my mind believe that my manifestation is coming in. It also can help you get excited about your desire and help you get into the state of you already having it and believing that it's coming, which is the whole point of manifesting and law of assumption. But then what can happen is it can be a little bit of a, a catch 22. So say for example, in your mind, you've decided that seeing a yellow duck indicates that your career change is coming, a relationship is coming, money is coming in, whatever it may be. And you see this yellow duck multiple times a day or every day or whatever, and you're getting excited and you're like, yes, it's coming. But then you don't see it one day and then you don't see it for a week. And then you begin to doubt the fact that this manifestation is actually coming in. So what these signs can do is take away your power if you become too reliant on them. But then I think there's some sort of a time of crossover where you don't need the sign anymore because you have that belief instilled in you that your manifestation is either coming or it's already here and it's already happened and manifested into your life. So then if you see that synchronicity, say it's a repeating number, a bird, a butterfly, whatever, you're like, oh, that's nice, but you don't actually rely on that sign to validate your manifestation. Because what can happen is if we become so reliant on these signs and synchronicities, the amount that we're seeing them or not seeing them can waver your own belief in achieving that manifestation. So they definitely can be useful. I think it's just a, a balance that you have to find as far as allowing those signs to mean something to you, to excite you, to allow you to get into the state and not becoming so dependent on them that your manifestation actually relies on them. So I think they're great, I think they're fun. I definitely have some that I use and have used in the past. Things that I've given meanings to, whether I meant to give it a meaning or not. Sometimes they just kind of happen. <laughs> Sometimes your mind will just connect with something and, it, and, and that synchronicity will mean something to you without you even actually going out and deciding it. So it can be definitely a fun tool to use. I would just caution that you don't use it as a determining factor of whether you're getting your manifestation or not. You need to decide that you're getting your manifestation or that it's already here. You have to decide that no matter what synchronicities or signs that you're seeing or not seeing, it doesn't matter 
because it's already coming in and you've already decided this manifestation is here. So have fun with it, enjoy the synchronicities. I'm curious of what kind of signs and synchronicities you do see. Please let me know in the comments below. And I do talk about this a little bit in my repeating numbers video, I'll link that up here, about how like just because an overall meaning of something is true for the majority of people, like maybe a red cardinal means that a, you know, a, a passed on loved one is around and I use that. I, I feel like whenever I see a red cardinal, like my grandpa's here. But that doesn't mean that for 100% of people that that's the meaning of that red cardinal. My biggest advice to you when you're, when you're looking for signs or synchronicities is to have fun with it. Have fun with it, but don't become too reliant on them. Don't give your power away. You have the power within you. You are made of God, of the creator, and he has built us to be able to do these things through him. Okay, so don't put all of your eggs outside of yourself and outside of the creation that God has made you to be because it's within you. And that's the bottom line. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so we can hang out again next week. I love you guys so much. Have fun with your repeating numbers and your signs and all that. It can be definitely very useful. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself. Mm -hmm.